Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen with HowToGardenVideos.com and today we're going to learn all about how to grow tea plants. Now tea has been around for centuries. It is the basis of many drinks in many cultures and there's many different types of teas. There's green teas, there's black teas, there's white teas, there's red teas, there's even blue teas. So what's the difference and how do you grow them? So let's check it out. So when we're talking about true teas, there's two different families of teas that are generally used. There's the traditional Chinese tea. This is a Sochi tea start, and this is Camellia sinensis. Now most green teas are made from the sinensis variety, and there's black teas that can be made from sinensis as well. So there are also teas that come from India. So the Camellia sinensis plant the Assamica variety needs different conditions than the Sinensis variety from China. It's got to have really warm, hot climate, cannot go below 60 degrees. It needs a really sunny spot, and yet it'll burn if you have it in a window and it gets a really hot sun. So when you're growing the two different teas, make sure and find out which tea you have, whether it's the Sinensis or it is the Assamica, and make sure and put them in the right conditions. The difference between green tea and black tea is the process from the leaves. So in the green tea, the leaves are taken right when they first come out and then they are steamed or they are sometimes pan fried to over 200 degrees Celsius. When that happens, they turn into a green tea and then they are rolled. Whereas the black tea is the opposite process. They actually take the leaves, they roll them up, and then they steam them or heat them after they're rolled up, which makes the green tea. Both green tea and black tea are very high in antioxidants. They're really good for you because they take all the cancerous cells and they fight against them. When green tea is used, it's a little bit higher in antioxidants because of the process of heating it very quickly as soon as the leaves are, are picked, whereas the black tea it is heated afterwards. But both are really good for your diet and one of the best things that you can add for a healthy, healthy life. So you've got to remember that when you're growing tea plants, they really do well in warmer climates. So if you're growing them in a colder climate, you're going to be a little bit challenged. But they're still worth the effort. You've got to make sure they don't go below 50 degrees at any time. So even if you're growing them out on a balcony and it gets a little bit colder than that, you can lose some leaves. But a lot of times just by trimming back the plant, it will grow back lush again. So you can treat a tea plant like any other house plant. You don't want to put it in direct sun in a window because in a warm summer day, it'll just fry it. You got to remember they grow in the canopies of the forest naturally. So they're used to warm filtered sun, not direct sun. So you want to make sure and put them perhaps in somewhere where they've got morning sun but not afternoon sun. And outside, maybe somewhere where they've got a little bit of afternoon shade so they don't cook in the heat of the day. Make sure and give them really good, well-drained soil. They don't want to sit in muck ever. They like good composted soil or with a little bit of sand in it and good drainage. The key is good drainage. And when you grow your tea plants, remember to be patient because sometimes it takes two, three, four years before you're going to get really lush plants where you'll get a large production of leaves. But it's worth the effort and it's something that you can add to your balcony, your inside or your outside garden that'll make you very healthy in the end.